Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Mind Glowing and today we're going to create a stylized broomstick. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to model and shade this broomstick. So stay tuned and let's go. So first of all, we need a cube and we're going to use a bevel modifier with three segments. Then we're going to use a subdivision surface with two levels and now we're going to model or stick. Use any reference that you want. Um, this is going pretty fast as right now I'm just extruding the parts and then I am scaling up the width on certain parts to give it some variation. Now we're going to add all sticks for all brooms. So add a cylinder with eight vertices. Make it bigger, add some loop cuts and give it some variation. Make a few of these sticks and make sure they're all different. Add these to a collection called broomsticks this is going to be important for all geometry nodes. Next is adding a circle mesh and filling up the face. We're going to rotate all sticks on the X axis 90 degrees and then center them at the wall origin. Now add a particle system to the circle mesh, add 200 particles, 50 meter length, use or collection of broomsticks and select pick random here i forgot that make sure the emitter is deselected and make the instance real join all the broomsticks that that were just made in the instance and delete the excess ones now let's add a lattice to deform all broomsticks the way we want. So add a resolution of five and add a lattice modifier on the broomsticks and select all lattice. Now let's move up these points, scale them up a bit and change them however you want. Till it looks something nice. Now let's just rotate our broomstick. So let's add a circle mesh. Scale it up and move it to the middle. Something like that. Go to edit mode, extrude it. And make three of these. Just duplicate them. But what we want to do is use this or proportional editing and move it around a bit. To select separate meshes, I'm using L on the keyboard. Turn it off, move it a bit around, scale it. Make it look like it's random. Then with the proportional editing, we can, so they look a bit more attached to the broomsticks. Also rotate it a bit. And then shade smooth. Then let's add a solidifier modifier. Some depth. Maybe give a bevel modifier as well. And then we can add a subdivision surface. 
So let's start with shading. Create a new material for this broom and add a color ramp, then add a gradient texture and press Ctrl T to get the mapping and texture coordinate. Change the rotation of the X and Y axis to minus 90 and 90 degrees and then change the scale of the Y so we get a more fluent gradient. Make sure the object is connected to the vector and just play around with these settings until you're satisfied. Then change the color of the color ramp to something brown like. Again, just play around with these colors until you're satisfied. And let's change the roughness. First, add a noise texture connect it to the roughness so we can see what we're doing. Add a Voronoi texture. Add another color ramp. And plug that into the roughness for now so we can see what we're doing again. Change the settings, play around a bit with it until you have a nice feel of it. Let's combine these two and set it to soft light. Now let's add another color ramp, plug in our Voronoid texture and add a bump map connect the bump to the normal, increase the strength to 0.2 and the distance to 0.4, just play around with these settings again, and change the color ramp to your liking. Now we have our wood texture, so change the name, and let's select our stick, get the wood texture and make it unique. Now let's uh, reset the settings on the mapping. And what we want to do is play with the X scale and the position of the X and change our color ramp. Give it some control. Change the colors a bit slightly. change it to B-spline. So we have a more fluent texture, kind of gradient. Now let's give this a gold material, metallic one, and just change the color to something like that. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new today and I hope to see you in the next video.